Hello guys, this is um, another tutorial for me today focusing on Enforte. I had a request that I should cover his run stop fears and even though that there are a lot of videos on how to do this on the web, I really could not find the uh, one that is tailored for pad players, although there is one but it just shows how you know the motion of the ocean. But I want to actually show how to perform the run stop fierce by showing you the drill that I used when I was tired of learning it. So now this is El Fuerte, and learning run stop fierce, you have to follow three step, um, four steps, and the first step will be the actual run stop and fierce. By that I mean you have to learn how to run stop fierce. So. A little explanation. Alfredo's run is instant. It has no start, just starts, just starts running from frame one. But the stop has a recovery of three. So if you plink stop on fierce, you only get a stop. So that's why that's why I'm, doing it, I'm, I'm doing it way too fast. That's because I'm doing it way too fast, and um, all you're getting is uh, a run stop. So. For you to get run stop fierce, you have to delay it a bit. Not by much, a bit. It's quite a very small bit, so it doesn't actually need much, uh, much delay. So yeah, I have something like this. So, what I first you need to do is to do the run stop fierce, just the run the stop and the fierce close range. And what you're gonna try to do is to make the stop and the fierce to be as close as possible. And once you get that, then you can move on to stage two. And for this drill, you have to do each of the drills going left till you hit the wall, then you change side and you go right. So it goes something like this. Then come to the other side. I, I didn't do from wall to wall because actually that would be like wasting your time but if you're gonna be doing it you're gonna be doing it from the left wall all the way to the right wall then from the right wall all the way to the left wall why you would you want to do that because you want to train both sides because um some people or most people have a weaker side tendency like for me personally I'm slightly weaker execution wise from the left from, um, from the one player side than on the right player side. So, first drill is do run, then stop, then fierce. Once you get that down, next thing you need to learn is the standing fierce, run to slide. That, that's the first thing you have to get used to. So, by doing run to slide, you practice your ender, and that will be you know the starting point for you. Although in combos you don't wouldn't want to do that. Instead of just doing that, you can just do um, close standing hard kick to guacamole throw, which does a descent to 20 damage. But for this practice, you know you do the run to slide. You, sorry, you do the run stop fierce first, then you now do the fierce slide. So when you get the fierce slide from the left to the right and the right to the left, then you now go to run stop fierce run slide. Now getting the run stop fierce just two reps is quite easy because you don't need to you know worry about your spacing, just get the inputs right and you get the run stop fierce to slide. Like that. So that's the next thing you practice. You practice on left to the wall, then transfer, then continue. Now once you get that done, then it's time to switch sides again and continue doing it until you can get it from left to the right and right to the left, not dropping it more than once. So let me try from the other side. All 
Alright, so after doing that, basically that's the one that you find yourself doing most of the times in the match. Because of two factors. One, the spacing of run stop fears depends on a lot of factors. It depends on how close you are to the opponent and what part of the animation your opponent is in. As you can see, effort is close, but once Zangief starts to move, he moves back just much very slightly, and that affects the spacing. But that doesn't, doesn't affect you when you're doing just the two reps. But if you want to do more than two, you have to take that into account. Three reps is a lot difficult than two, because when you're going for two reps, you don't really matter. Doesn't really matter your spacing or where you are. You just have to be close enough. But for three, you now have to. To lay the cancel quite a bit. Now, if you want to do a three rep, afraid you're gonna hit the first hit here, then there's a push back. Then you have to run all the way back to position before you stop and fierce. Now, the easiest way for me to explain how to do that is for you to keep your eyes on Elfwit's feet and watch where I run to. So, let me try the three reps. <laughs> Okay, that's a tree. As you notice, I always wait till he runs close to Zangief before doing the next rep. So that's really what makes it difficult. But if you want a little bit of easy variation, you just have to run close for the second rep. The third one, you can do that almost instantly. Like that. So that's it. But I don't really, I really go for three reps because um, um, I'm, I get a little agitated and I kind of drop it most of the time. But going for three, that's how you do it. And I don't go for three on my left side because for some reason I spook out. But for the three, you do the fierce, then you run and move forward a bit before you stop and fierce again. So let me try from this side. So see, I didn't run. Well enough, let me try it again. So that was it. So that was the three reps. <laughs> going for four, I don't I never I've never tried going for four because most of the time uh, my opponent is so busy mas smashing reversals that I find it easier to stop and restart from the beginning. Because run stop fears packs a lot of stun, if you hit it consecutively twice, you're most likely gonna stun the opponent. So let me put on the stun. That's 300. That's 420. So now from a focus, um, focus attack kills twice as you all know so from focus it, it doesn't matter you have to, just have to do like two reps and end it if you can do do a three don't go one on three unless you're very comfortable with the run stop fierces now another thing I want to mention is if you're going for a jumping hard punch yeah uh, due to the spacing I would suggest going for two max because most of the time the spacing is kind of wonky and if you try three you might end up with him So, 3, 3, 2, 600 stun, not bad. So, I uh, like going for 3. Which I just did, and I went greedy for 4. And it's all about practice. Just remember, practice from your right to left, left to right, all the way back. And if you want to go for a jumping attack, go for the jump hard kick, because for some reason, it sticks you very close to your opponent for your run stop fierces. I don't know why, but that's how it is. So that's <laughs> that's me being greedy. So that's it for El Fuerte. And uh, well, thank you for watching. Next, I don't even know what I'll be doing next, but thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel and tell friends so see you later bye